Hey guys, we're going to go over a few pages in your grade two math packet. Um, this should be page 23. It says regrouping tens to ones. So we're going to talk about some strategies for three digit subtraction this morning. Number or page 23 says circle all the problems where you must regroup a 10 to subtract the ones. Then find the differences of only the problems you circled. Uh, like always, you can solve every problem if you wish, but I'm going to show you why we're circling certain problems. Okay, so let's look at number one, which is circled. Where do we always start in subtraction problems? In the ones place. And the reason for that is if we don't have enough ones, we can always borrow from a 10. And if we don't have enough tens, we can always borrow from the hundreds place because that's where the rest of those numbers would be. Okay, so if we needed more ones, we can always look to the tens. There's always more ones to, to be had. All right, let's look at number one. So if you look in the ones place, we've got five ones. Can we take away six? One, two, three, four, five. No, we can't. So that's why number one is circled. We have to go and regroup a 10, okay? All right, look at number two. We have eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need to take away six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can do that. There are two left over, so we would not need to regroup or circle number two. Okay? All right, now let's talk about some strategies, how to solve those problems. So we're going to solve number one. Number one is 875 minus 646. All right. Um, the first way that I'm going to do that, I know many of you like doing the quick drawings. I know you like drawing those base 10 blocks. So I'm going to draw it out first. However, I'm going to use chips, which means I have to label my chart. Now, when we were adding three-digit numbers, we have to draw both numbers so we can add them together. But when we're subtracting, we only draw the bigger number so that we can take away the smaller number. And our bigger number is 875. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 810, 820, 830, 840, 850, 860, 870, 871, 872, 873, 874, 875. Now, if I were doing this on paper, I would obviously just be putting dots and save myself some time. But because I'm doing this on a tablet, I have to make circles. Okay, so I have 875 and I need to take away 646. Where am I going to start? In the ones place. I have five ones. I need to take away six ones. Can I do that? No. So I need to regroup a 10. So I'm going to take a 10 and I'm going to bring it to my ones place. Guys, picture that stack of 10, that, that stack of 10 blocks. How many ones make a 10? 10. So make sure you draw out all 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now because I made my drawings in five groups, I can easily count how many ones I have. There are 5, 10, 15. Okay? Now I'm going to go over to my problem and I'm going to show what I did. I took away a 10 from the tens place. So now there are not seven, there are six. Look at my ones place. There are no longer five ones, there are 15. Now I can definitely take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many do I have left? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine ones left, which means 15 minus six is nine. All right, let's look at our tens place. I need to take away four tens because there are four tens and 646. Can I do that? Looks like there's enough. 
one, two, three, four, and I'm left with two tens. Now my hundreds, I have eight hundreds, I need to take away six hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm left with two hundreds. My answer is 229. Okay, so that's one way. Let's do it another way. I'm gonna rewrite my problem as well. Okay, 875 minus 646. Okay, so when we add one of our favorite addition strategies, I know a lot of you like that break apart strategy, which means a lot of you try to use it for subtraction. It doesn't work quite as good for subtraction, but it will still work. You can still break apart and get the right answer. So remember that when we break apart, we're writing our numbers in expanded form. So 875 is still 800 plus 70 plus 5. And 646 is 600 plus 40 plus 6. Now, here's the part we have to remember that we're subtracting, not adding. So when we're adding, it doesn't matter. We can start in the hundreds, the tens, and ones. It doesn't matter because we're going to put them all together. In subtraction... It matters. We have to start in our ones place. All right, so five ones plus six ones. Actually, wait, what am, I, what am I talking about? So when we see these addition signs right here, makes us think we're adding, right? But remember, that's just how you made your number, okay? 800 plus 70 plus five is how you made your number. We're really subtracting. We're taking away. Okay, so 5 minus 6. Wait, we can't do 5 minus 6, so, so what do I do? You can still go get a 10, okay? All right, so look over here. Remember, we don't have 646. We have 875. So we would take a 10 from 70, and that would leave us with 60. We would put our 10 over here with our 5. Remember, we already have five ones, so if we add 10, we'll have 15 ones. 15 ones minus six ones, that we can do. Um, I like to think of it as 15 minus five minus one more would be nine. You with me? All right, let's look at our tens. 60 minus 40, that's six tens. Minus four tens leaves us with two tens, and two tens is 20. Eight hundreds minus 600 would be 200. My answer is 229. So not my favorite strategy for subtraction, but you can do it that way as long as you remember that you're not adding and you remember to look at your ones place, and if the bigger number is on the bottom, then you have to regroup. Okay, let's talk number lines. There are lots and lots and lots of different ways you can use number lines. There's so many ways that you guys get your answers. I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways. You can still use different numbers to get there, but these are just a couple of couple of strategies. Okay, so 875 minus 646. We know that in a subtraction problem, we can start with the smaller number, and we can count up to get the bigger number. If we do it this way, where will your answer be? In the jumps, right? Because this is a part of this will be a part in our jumps, and this is my whole. Okay? You think in fact, families. All right, so if I start with 646 and I want to get to 875, I want to make this friendly. So the first thing I'm going to add is 4 to get to 650. And then I want to add 50 to get to... 
700. Now I have a friendly, friendly number. So let's jump to another friendly number. Let's jump 100 and let's get to 800. Okay, and then we know that we can add 75 to get to 875, right? But because my answer is in my jumps and I'm gonna have to go back and add those together, I'm gonna add 70 and then I'm gonna add five instead of doing 75 together, okay? All right, so let's go back and check our work. I did 646 plus four is 650. 650 plus 50 is 700. 700 plus 100 is 800. 800 plus 70 is 870. 870 plus five is 875. So my answer should be here. I've got 100. Then let's look at those tens, 50 and 70. 50 plus 70, and then I've got ones, four and five. It's much easier if you put together your tens and your ones, okay? So I know also that 50 plus 70, 70 is 50 plus 20, right? That 50 and 50 makes another 100. So I actually have 200 plus 20, plus four and five make nine. So my answer is 229. Okay, so we can start with the small number. We can add up to the bigger number. Your answer's in the jumps. Be really careful putting your jumps together. All right, another way that you could subtract on a number line is we can actually start with the bigger number, just like we have in our problem, and we can go back. I don't like this one as good. I think it's a little more difficult, but I know some of you like to do that. Okay, so I would start at 875. Now, in this case, if I start at 875, I'm gonna make sure that I subtract 646 in my jumps. So my answer, will end up down here. Okay, my answer will actually be on my number line this time if I do it this way. Okay, so if I start at 875 and need to take away 646, obviously I can't do all that at one time, so I'm going to take away 600 we should be able to do. That's a pretty good, pretty big jump there. 875 take away 600. You're only taking away the hundreds. So 800 take away 600 is 200. Everything else stays the same. So 875 minus 600 is 275. Then I need to take away 40, which isn't too difficult on this one because I actually have enough tens. So seven tens take away four tens would give me three tens. Everything else stays the same, 235. Then I need to take away six. But to make this easier on myself, because I have a five, I'm gonna take away five and get 230, and then I'm gonna take away one. Whoops, that should be a three there. Take away one, which is 229. So my answer is 229. And this time my answer is not in the jumps. My answer is on my number line. Okay? And of course there's other ways that you guys, I know you, when we do number lines, we all end up doing it slightly different, but we can still get to the same answer. Okay? But remember, do what makes most sense.